Hey guys, what's up? Shekhar Suman here from Biotechnica and today we have a special topic for all of you. Well, it's a beautiful morning here in Bangalore and I have been tasked to tell you 10 amazing career opportunities for all of you which will help you earn crores in the biotech industry. Well, truth be told, we all keep complaining. I see a lot of students and professionals complaining that there is no future in biotech sector. Now, why exactly people say that is because nobody is taking the initiative to start a company. Now, let me compare the biotech industry of United States with the biotech industry of India. Okay. Now, the aim of this video is not to judge anything, but the aim of this video is to open a new avenue of career for all of you. So, if I have to compare the biotech industry of United States and biotech industry of India, if biotech industry of United States is in 2023, the biotech industry of India is in 1956. That's the gap, right? So, that's a 70, 75 years gap in between the countries, okay? Now, for example, if you compare in IT, uh, the IT industry of US and IT industry of India, the difference may be 5 years or 10 years, not much. But what you see in biotech sector, there is a big difference. Now, how biotech industry was in the United States in 1956, that kind of scenario you see today in India. So that's a gap of 75 years. So now, what exactly the future entails for you is something like this. How many biotech companies are there in India? Roughly 356 to 359 last I checked. Okay. So these are small as well as big biotech companies. Uh, some are in billions of dollars, some are in, uh, you know, a few rupees. But yeah, they, there are around 356 to 359 biotech companies. And that is where if you compare it with the United States, there are more than 2,500, 3,000 biotech companies in US, right? So you can see the difference, right? It's 10 times more. Now, basically, that is the reason we call United States as the mecca of biotech industry. And that is the reason in India, it is still not grown. Now, do you understand something in between? The gap is not of employability. The gap is because there are less number of companies. And the gap exists because many youngsters just like you and me is, are not starting companies in the biotech sector. We are, we are always looking for jobs in biotech sector, government job, private job, or moving abroad, or you know, looking for a six-figure salary in India itself. What if I tell you that you have an opportunity to earn crores of rupees in the biotech sector? You have heard me right. You can earn not just crores, billions of dollars in biotech sector if you listen to this video carefully. I'm going to give you 10 biotech ideas, probably more than 10. And uh, to many of uh, my colleagues in Biotechnica, I'm a chalta firta idea ka dukan. People, uh, you know, keep listening to all my stupid ideas, but... Many of them work actually at Biotechnica. So I'm going to share some of the ideas which I personally wanted to pursue, but I did not pursue because of limitation of my time and my abilities and my expertise. So I'm just telling to all of you, probably some somebody among you can pick it up, start a company and maybe employ thousands of people in the future. So that solves the job problem, isn't it? So I'll tell you a story of Intel. Okay, so Intel of 1950, okay, used to employ hardly... 10 or 15 people, but today they are employing thousands of people, 10,000, 20,000 people, right? So how exactly Intel started was in a lab, right? The same way all the biotech companies of US started in a lab. So even you can start in your own lab or in your own house or garage. But what exactly you can work upon in biotech industry, biotech, what kind of biotech companies you can start, that we will look at today. Now the first thing which comes in my mind as soon as I look at it is, if you look at India, India is an agriculture based economy, right? So agriculture has a huge contribution to the GDP also. So you can straight away start an agri clinic or an agri consulting firm where you are um, giving advice to big as well as small farmers on how to increase their crop yield. So that's something which is a ripe field right now in India, agri-clinic and agri-based consulting services, okay, which you can give to big farmers 
like there are a lot of big farmers in uh, Punjab and Rajasthan, not Rajasthan, Punjab and uh, Uttar Pradesh and you know other parts of India, right? So you can always start there. Now the next thing which um, is going to be hot right now as well as in future is fuel. Okay, so. You look at this, um, petrol prices are going out of control and governments across the globe are innovating and working on various alternatives to the uh, petrol, right? Now, one of the biggest alternative of petrol is of course solar energy or uh, you know nuclear reactor and all that, but they, they are not clean energy. Biodiesel is a clean energy. So you can start a company in biodiesel. So that's the second point I wanted to make. The first point which I told you is agri-clinic. The second one which I told you is biodiesel. But now, of course, you don't have experience in biodiesel production, but there are uh, CSIR uh, institutes, okay, like Indian Institute of Petroleum Research, IIPR, and I personally know Dr. Anjan Ray, he's the head of IIPR. You can directly get in touch with IIPR, license their technology and grow biodiesel, Okay, and sell. You know, Indigo Airlines is having a target that by 2030, the 70% of the fuel should be biodiesel. That's a kind of uh, revolution which is going to come up in our country. So you can be the catalyst to this particular revolution. Okay, and of course, in process of that, you'll generate a lot of employment and you will earn crores of rupees. Right. So that's the second thing. Now, the third thing which you can get in is mushroom cultivation. Okay, and now mushroom cultivation is something which seems like okay, everybody is doing it, but there is huge scope because in future, mushroom is at the boundary of veg and non-veg, okay? Uh, and it's a very good roughage. It's a very nutritious food. And a lot of people are into this business, but there is a lot of scope to grow this mushroom cultivation as a biotechnologist because you will be a professional mushroom uh, cultivator, not like regular farmers. And you can scale it to billions of rupees because mushroom is required you know, as a food source everywhere, right? So mushroom cultivation is the, you know, um, third uh, point which I wanted to make. The fourth point which I have for you is biofertilizer. So, you know, uh, there's a lot of boom in the organic farming, farming sector and they don't want to use the regular fertilizer and that is where biofertilizer comes into picture. And as a organic farming grows, so will the biofertilizer will grow. Now, basically, it's uh, bacterial, fungal or algal in origin. And you as a biotechnologist, if you have expertise in that, you can always get in here. So biofertilizer manufacturing is the fourth point which I wanted to make today. Now, it, this can grow and scale because a lot of farmers are getting conscious, a lot of consumers are getting conscious and they don't want to consume chemical laced you know, fertilizer laced food, instead they want um, organic food. So that's where bio fertilizer will boom. Okay. So the next one, which um, I can tell you here is compost fertilizer production. So, uh, and in fact, compost fertilizer is so uh, popular nowadays that you can create it, you can create the compost and you can sell it on Amazon and Flipkart. So, you know, uh, sir, within a few hours, you could be, you know, you know, people from different parts of India could be placing orders with you. All you need to do, take care is of the right kind of branding, marketing and um, packaging so that it looks very attractive and people will buy. So yeah, compost fertilizer production and compost fertilizer sales is also something which you can get in through Amazon and Flipkart. It's an amazing field. So that's my fifth point where you can earn billions of rupees, billions of dollars in India as well as abroad and in fact you can produce the compost in India and sell it you know to various other countries also so that's an amazing opportunity for all of you. The next one which I have got is from the food sector and that is food processing like if you see uh, you have these juices or you know manufactured food right so processed food so you know it can be um, healthy snacks like um, you know chips uh, say banana chips, which has got least oil uh, and uh, calorie footprint print and uh, something which is for the health conscious people. Uh, you have this fox nuts, you can have, get into the production and different types of food which can be made from fox nuts and can be sold across the globe. Okay, so that's another idea which you have. So food processing in, is one idea. And I know by now you are already, you know, uh, very excited that, okay, I can do all this. Just think about it, instead of looking for a job elsewhere, why not look into these ideas and consider starting your own business? And how to do that? Well, I have written a book, okay? The link is given in the description. You can go to Biotechnica stores and purchase it. The price is very, very low. But this book 
will be an eye opener it will give you a complete idea on how to start a biotech company in india what all things you require what all regulations you have to you know what are what are licenses you have to fulfill and then you, uh, how can you get investments for your biotech business and how can you grow your business so and in fact i provide a lot of mentoring to a lot of entrepreneurs young students and uh, entrepreneurs who want to start their biotech companies they can directly get in touch with me my email id is shekhar@biotechnica.org and i will help you out so that's all about uh, you know whatever i can do help you do to help you so let's jump to the seventh one which is hybrid seeds now hybrid seeds require a bit of a specialization but if you have done a phd which wherein uh, this uh, is your specialization you can get in wherein uh, you sow the seed for a brinjal and the tomato also comes out so basically in future you will look at various uh, such things so in less soil or less carpet area you can grow multiple fruits and multiple vegetables like you can grow oranges and guava in the same tree you never know so that kind of hybrid seeds that is where you can get in so what will happen is a lot of farmers will buy those seeds from you you can see monsanto became monsanto because of seeds right so hybrid seeds is again a very good field and don't think that if there is already a monsanto how can i get in because there was always a google and youtube but still facebook came in and there was always a facebook still instagram came in so don't underestimate your potential thinking that there is already a bigger player in the market you, your point of view your way of doing things are unique so your products products will always be unique so yeah that's something which i can uh, vouch for so hybrid seeds is something which you can go for the next one is personalized medicine and specialty medicine manufacturing now again this requires even a higher experience so if you have got experience in the pharma industry then you can get into this you can also do something like loan licensing wherein you can take a loan license of cipla or pfizer or zydus and you can have your own factory and you can manufacture products for them okay manufacture medicine for them and they will do the marketing part so a lot of people do that that's again a smaller uh, manufacturing setup but uh, with higher yields so that's something which you can get in the next one which i can suggest you will be of course you cannot get in without a phd that that will be vaccine manufacturing you can see bharat biotech serum institute of india so the, all these started from scratch small amount of investments and slowly they grew okay so vaccine manufacturing is going to grow in fact uh, one vaccine if you go in the market and buy it cost you somewhere in around 1800 rupees it goes up to 8000 rupees right so it's a huge market and it's going to grow because of all the pandemics and epidemics happening but you'll have to do a phd in uh, you know uh, this particular thing you can't really straight away go after bsc or msc but yeah vaccine manufacturing is a bigger uh, market which you can target and the last one which i can suggest you is vermi compost so again this is um, like i have told you before compost manufacturing here it is vermi compost so basically this is a, these are organic wastes or uh, vegetables and biodegradable stuff which you can actually collect from various houses compost it and sell it right so this is a very easy idea actually and you know if you ask me at this juncture i have 100 more ideas uh, which i can give you probably in the next video otherwise this video will become very long so uh, for example you can um, get into hygiene consulting because of the pandemic even that's a great opportunity you can get into a lot of other things which require specialization but yeah uh you can do that so if you want to straight away get into your uh, entrepreneurship dream and start a company after your bachelor's or masters you can do that but then you will have to get into simpler products and slowly build a complicated product but if you want to get into uh, specialized companies like vaccine manufacturing or personalized medicine you will require a higher degree say phd or postdoc but at this juncture what i can feel is india is ripe for bio entrepreneurship and india is ripe for people like you who want to earn crores of rupees and at the same time create a lot of you know um, employment for the fellow indians and all the people in this country so yeah the country is ripe i know a company which um, just came out with a simple idea okay they realized that if we polish the apple the sales of apple improves by 30% okay so they created a bio uh, edible wax it's i think a chennai company and now they are selling it to kashmiri farmers and all the farmers who grow uh, apples and all these fruits that you coat it with this wax it becomes shiny and now the sales improves right so imagine what was that that's a very simple product it's wax but you know it's edible wax 
and they got the FSSI license for that. And now what happens is it improves the sales of the farmer. So even that kind of companies also you can start in the biotech sector. You know, what I told you today is just vague idea. Probably we can sit together and we can discuss on a lot of amazing ideas and I'm going to start a lot of networking sessions in the future for bio entrepreneurs. Okay, so if you are a bio entrepreneur, if you want to become a bio entrepreneur in future, you can walk into Biotechnica's headquarters and meet me. I would definitely help you out in some other way which will benefit you and help start a biotech company. Now for all those who want to, who, can't, who are not in Bangalore but still want help from me, the link is given in the description. Okay, you can go ahead and download that book. Okay, place an order. It's a virtual book, you ebook you can download and you can read this book. You can read how amazing the bio entrepreneurship can be, how rewarding it is. And trust me, it's very satisfying. Like, you know, uh, you look for a job instead you start a company where people get job. Because every morning when you will walk into that company, you will not just see a dream coming true. You will see dreams of so many people coming true because they will work with you to grow that company. And I want to be a catalyst in your company. So if ever you start a company, do approach me. I would love to invest. Thank you so much for watching this video. It was wonderful interacting with all the bio entrepreneurs of future. Remember, India is in the 1956 of US. Okay, so how mature the biotech industry was in US? In 1956, India is right now. So in the next 30 years, you're going to see 3000 companies coming up. I want your company to start this year or next. What do you say? See you soon in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.